Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the Too Faced Matte Chocolate Chip Palette. And I'm so excited to be talking about this because Too Faced is my absolute favorite brand. If you watch my videos, you know that I only use Too Faced pretty much. I use their foundation, their eyeshadow, their concealer, I use their bronzer. I just love it. I love the packaging, I love everything about it, and the smell. If it smells great, I'm gonna use it. This eyeshadow palette went on sale on Too Faced.com on Black Friday, and it was $26, so I immediately thought, hey, that's a good deal for an eyeshadow palette, especially a Too Faced palette. So I took advantage of it. This is what the packaging looks like. It's very cute, it looks like a chocolate bar, and it says matte chocolate chip palette, and it's in a like matte packaging. And on the back it says, we transformed 11 of your favorite shades from the best-selling chocolate bar eyeshadow collection into modern, buttery, matte finishes. Indulge in cocoa powder infused shades of perfect browns, neutrals, and pops of sweet color, all with our signature chocolate scent. So let's open it up. And this is the actual palette. It's very small, and if I could compare it to something, here is my Studio Makeup on the Go palette. This is about how big the Too Faced Matte Chocolate Chip Palette is. It's about the size of a credit card, actually. It's not as big as the um, Too Faced like Cat Eyes Palette or the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. It's not as big as that. It's about, mm, I don't want to say half the size because it's bigger than that, but it's about the size of a credit card. And the packaging is not like the regular Too Faced palettes. It is very matte and it's plastic. So it's a plastic compact, and on the back of it, it actually has the names of the um, <clears throat> eyeshadows. So I'll give you a closer zoom in right here of that. And the clasp on it is not magnetic. You just close it, and it shuts, snaps closed. It's a snap clasp. So you open it up, and this is what it looks like. and it's got a huge mirror on it. Oh, there's my camera! So it's got a huge mirror. This is an awesome mirror to take with you and it's just an awesome palette to take with you for traveling. You can fit it right in your makeup bag. It fits perfectly. Can't even tell it's in there. So, I really like it. Um, for $26 you can't beat it and the shades are extremely pigmented and very pretty and I will insert swatches for you guys after this review. Um, basically, these shadows smell like chocolate. They are cocoa powder infused, and they, I think they have, some of them have vanilla in them too, actually. They smell really good. They go on very, almost creamy feeling. There are 12 total shades in here, and they're all matte. There's one base shade right here, and this is the shade White Chocolate. And this was in the original Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. These were all in the original Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. They converted seven shades that used to be shimmer shades into matte shades. And those are the Matte Gilded Ganache, which is right here. And that used to be an army green shimmer. They converted the Matte Marzipan, which is right here. And that is actually my favorite shimmer shade in the actual original Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And they converted the Matte Hazelnut shade right here. They converted the matte candied violet shade into a matte purple. That used to be a shimmer. They converted the matte champagne truffle into a matte shade. <clears throat> and also the cherry cordial shade right here. They converted that to a matte as well. And the creme brulee shade, which is right here. So those were the shades that were converted into matte shades. The strawberry bonbon shade right here and the semi-sweet shade, the white chocolate shade up here, and the triple fudge shade right on the end here were all already matte shades. So I really like it. I think it's a great palette um, if you're a beginner especially because matte shades are I think the easiest to use as transition colors. As you can see this is the look that I'm wearing and I, and I created it using this palette and I'll actually attach that demo video at the end of this review as well. So I'll have swatches and then right into the demo and then it'll be over. <clears throat> so we'll have swatches and then straight into the demo video. But I love this palette. I think it's awesome. I also got the Too Faced White Chocolate palette. 
that I will re be reviewing in a different video for you guys. So as far as size goes, the size of these shades are <clears throat> 0 0.5 grams or 0 0.02 ounces each. And there's one eyeshadow with 1.5 grams or 0 0.05 ounces each. So yeah, I think it's a great deal. Um, if you didn't get the chance to get this one, I don't know if Too Faced is bringing this back out because I think it's just a limited edition on their website, but I know the white chocolate chip palette will be on sale again at Sephora in the spring. So you can have a chance to get the palette if you really want it. Um, I think they're a great value. I think they're extremely pigmented. So I definitely think it's something to check out if you love Too Faced and you love chocolate. I just love to smell it because it smells amazing. Okay, so I'm going to insert the swatch video for you guys and the demo and this is about it for the review. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe below if you haven't hit that button yet. And I'll see you guys in my next white chocolate chip video. Bye guys. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a demo on the Too Faced Chocolate Chip Matte Palette. And this is just a natural smoky look that I created really quickly. So we're going to start off by taking the Urban Decay Primer Potion and rub that all over the eyelids. And if I sound really nasally it's because I have a cold and it's just that lovely time of year. Okay, the next step we are going to be doing is taking scotch tape, and this is just to create a really flawless looking um, smoky eye. It'll make it look really clean and sharp. So I just remove most of the stickiness by placing it on the back of my hand and peeling it off a few times. To start off the eyeshadow look, I'm going to be taking the shade White Chocolate and a large blending brush, and I'm just going to pat this all over the eyelid and it will kind of set my primer potion, which is my eyeshadow primer, and it will just make all the shades blend a lot easier. Okay, the next step for this eye look is to take the shade uh, Matte Creme Brulee and a large Luxie blending brush. And this is going to be our transition color. It is very flesh toned. Um, it's almost like a flesh toned orangey beige color and it works very well as a transition shade. And in the original chocolate bar palette, I usually use the salted caramel shade, but the shade works. Okay, the next step will be to take a medium-sized Luxie blending brush and the matte hazelnut color, <clears throat> and we're going to take a little bit on the brush and go in in windshield wiper motions and just deepen up the crease. And we're gonna go a little bit above the crease 
I like to do this step just to make it look like I've got a deeper crease. So just keep going back and forth and blend it out really well. And if it sounds like something's rattling, it is because I'm in my truck recording this. I'm pressed on time, so I try to do things when I can. But yeah, that's the next step. And keep blending it out and it will look really good. And the next step is to take a small Luxie blending brush. And this is the smallest one I could find. And I'm going to be taking the darkest shade in the palette, which is Triple Fudge. And I'm going to kind of create a false smoky wing. And you have tape on your eye, so it will look perfect whenever you remove the tape. It'll look just like a sharp winged eyeliner that's smoked out. So I just take it right along the edge of the tape, almost like I'm creating a winged liner. And for the next step, we're going to be taking the matte champagne truffle color and we're going to highlight the brow bone and the inner corner of the eyes. And I'm using a short shader brush because the um, bristles are really dense and they hold a lot more product. So we're going to be using that and like I said, just highlight under the brow bone <clears throat> and this will make your eye, like your eyebrow shaping really stand out when you do this. Okay, and the last shade we are going to be going in with is the Matte Creme Brulee shade. And we're going to take our fingertip and just dab it on the inner eyelid, or on the middle of the eyelid. And this will create a um, brightening effect, and it'll look like a halo eye almost. And then we're going to remove the tape and clean up the excess fallout. As you can see, it created a very sharp look, and it looks really good. So the tape works all the time, tried and true. Okay, and for the lower lash line, we're going to go in with the shade Matte Creme Brulee and Matte Hazelnut, and we're going to smoke out the lower lash line. I like to use the Matte Hazelnut because it'll create a um, really dark, smoked out appearance, and I won't have to put um, a Kajal eyeliner on the bottom eyelash. I've been doing that a lot less here lately because it makes my eye appear smaller, and I don't want my eye to appear smaller. In the last step for the lower lash line is to take triple fudge on a short shader brush and we're going to smoke it out and make it look a lot darker and this will really put that liner effect you know make you notice it a lot more it'll look like a smoked out eyeliner and I'm just going to line my top lash line with the Kat Von D ink tattoo liner in the shade trooper this is an awesome eyeliner if you ever want to wing out your eyeliner um, it just works so effortlessly and I love it. It's my tried and true eyeliner. And we're just going to go on the top lash line. We're not going to wing it out this time, but it, we're just going to bring it out and stop at the end of the lash line. Okay, and the last step is to take the Marcel Curling and Lengthening Mascara and just apply it to the top and bottom lash line. This is a Canadian brand and I tried it in a birch box and I absolutely love it. The brush is amazing on it. This is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really love to do this. It's a hobby. So if you would please subscribe to my channel and be updated whenever I post new videos, that would help me out a lot. Thanks for watching guys. See you in my next video.